another key character on Power Book 2, Ghost meets a horrible end this week, but many fans probably predicted this outcome. The popular Power spin-off said goodbye to Detective Kevin Whitman this time because he crossed too many lines with Monet and was becoming a nuisance. Whitman has been hot on her trail ever since the death of Monet's nephew Zeke, trying to link her to a murder that he believes she committed namely Carrie Milgrams. Notably, Carrie and Whitman have a shared past. In the fourth episode of season three, which aired on April 7th, Whitman approaches Monet and claims to have video of her ascending to Mecca's apartment the night of his murder. Whitman, however, turns to a nefarious plan to work with her daughter because he lacks a formal warrant and has a suspension for harassing Monet hanging over his head. To sway her opinion of Monet, Diana reverses the script on Whitman, leading him into a trap that ends up costing him his life and ends up having the last laugh. How, then, did Whitman in Power Book 2, Ghost come to his terrible end? For additional information, continue reading to learn why the conclusion of his character will sound all too familiar to veteran Power viewers. Everything begins when Davis MacLean, the lawyer for Monet, advises that Diana contact Whitman and provide him with an explanation of Monet's whereabouts. She believes the investigator will be more likely to believe her because she is a civilian and the only Tejada without a criminal record. As a result, Monet will have to control her rage after accusing Diana of Zeke's death. After paying her money-hungry lawyer, Monet visits Diana at college to ask for assistance in protecting their family. But she also has other plans, including breaking into Whitman's home and stealing any police records he may have on her. However, later, we see Diana meet with Whitman, where she tells the detective that her mom has been money laundering in order to bring Monet to justice once and for all after breaking into the family's house towards the end of the episode. But when he realizes Diana is still inside, and she's not by herself, the tables turn on him. Diana is on the phone to 911 reporting a break-in as Monet comes up behind the detective carrying a revolver. Monet tells Whitman, Tell the BTCH carry I said, what up, and fires three shots into his chest as he begs for his life. Later, the feds, including Blanca and Jenny, arrive to look into the murder, but they naturally have doubts about Monet's claim of self-defense against their deceased comrade. Whitman evidently felt a great deal of sorrow about their relationship as it was prior to Carrie's death because he has been on the loose ever since. He cared about Carrie a lot at one point, but he wasn't very nice to her before she died, so he made it his goal to get revenge by any necessary means. And by doing so, he put himself squarely in Monet's crosshairs, who has never shied away from killing someone who posed a threat to her or her family. Whitman was falling for Diana's sob story without giving it a second thought because his instincts had been neglected throughout his entire revenge tour, to the point where he got himself suspended. Whitman has been the epitome of desperation, so the fact that Diana casually strolled up to him and claimed that Monet had asked her to lie, and that she was willing to hand him Monet on a plate was simply too good to be true. They would have laughed in his face the moment he delivered that knowledge to Jenny and Blanca if he hadn't managed to have himself expelled from the RICO task team. He was always wholly out of his element with the Tejadas, and he demonstrated that now by being so fixated that he never once stopped to consider the possibility of being duped. Whitman bragged about being a cop the whole third season of Power Book 2, as though it rendered him impervious to harm. He should have known from all the research he had done on the Tejada family that they would go to any lengths to defend themselves. The choice to kill him was Monet's own and it was the only way she could escape his grasp, especially given how close he was to piecing everything together. Whitman, okay, have a look. Avoid doing this. I work as a cop. There is no way you can escape this. Monet, I appreciate your input. However, I'll take a chance. You must inform Carrie Milgram that I said what up. The emotional repercussions of this tragedy may be little, but the knowledge that the deceased guy was holding might have a profound impact on an entire family. Rip, Kevin Whitman. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.